From the hallowed grounds of Fenway Park, we've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away. Today's starting pitcher, Nathan Evaldi. What should we keep an eye on here? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Fastball pretty much middle, middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. Base knock center field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That is third. The first base. Man, Singy, he first hit day. that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Now batting Tristan Casas. And that one fouled off. First and second here, no outs. The other way. Base hit! And they're happy to play station to station right here. Base is loaded. Nobody out. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. 
Next. See how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Marquez. Here's Cattell Marte. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now it's Christian Walker. Here's a rocket to right field. Brings it in, and there's one down. That is good. That is good. And let's take a look at the lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you. On to Simeon. And that's two. On the mound here today, Zach Gallen. Way to go. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. The pitch. Marcus Simeon leading things off and takes a strike. Boog, how good was Marcus Simeon in 2023? Named a finalist for the MVP award in the American League after producing a season with 100 RBIs, an 826 OPS, and 29 home runs. On top of all that, his Rangers won the World Series. Well, that's off the That break. one missing inside. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Three. Caught him looking for the K. Well, just excellent location on that inside that fastball good. really locked that's him up. Time. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. Deeper. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Now it's Corey Seager. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. Deal two. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. That pretty much designated hitter, Masataka Yoshida, and fouled off. Grab ball to first, could be two. There for the out, runner scores from third. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Here's Trevor Story now. Golden opportunity right here. And a foul ball left side. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Out to short. Over to low. Run scores, and that makes it 2 nothing as they get the out. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. Abreu. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Carter under it. Makes the grab. And that'll do it. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Bottom of the first. Now, Marcus Simeon. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown yeah, ball, inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And the righty deals. And that's in for a strike. That to right. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. That was loud contact and a no doubt doubled off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen, though. And he's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. So man aboard, Corey Seager digs in now. That one pulled foul. You know, Corey Seager would have been named the American League MVP in 2023 if it wasn't for some guy named Shohei Otani. Stepped out, shining two-way player, but Seager did his best by putting together a full season with impressive numbers. Man, it's second. In the dirt, and it's one and two. Seager may not have won the regular season MVP award in 2023, but he was named World Series MVP for the second time in his career, hitting a home run for the Rangers in games one, three, and four. Well, you don't see it very often, but every once in a while, a guy strikes out and still somehow ends up safe on first. And when it happens, you kind of scratch your head. But I guess sometimes it pitches.